Once a year, future leaders converge to question all the answers. All right. In the Jeopardy Teen Tournament. Lucky class of 13. The best young minds. You're looking at a winner. Going head to head. This is going to be epic. The Jeopardy Teen Tournament starts Wednesday. Well, I'm in an advanced Latin class, which I really enjoy, even though Latin's a dead language. Um, and I also surprisingly really like calculus this year, which I wasn't expecting. I don't know, I guess I like the unapologetic nerdiness. To pay attention to the categories, and my dad thinks that daily doubles are a really big deal. I see myself in 10 years with a somewhat free job where I can travel around a lot, um, and I definitely want to travel when I'm older.
a junior from Macon, Georgia, Kelton Ellis. And a junior from Minnetonka, Minnesota, Lila Anderson. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rebeck. Thanks, Donnie. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to our annual team tournament. Good times for the next two weeks, featuring some very bright contestants ranging in age from 13 to 17, and as you just heard in the introduction, one student who is in grade 8, Irene. Welcome, young players, and good luck to you. Let's go to work now in the first round of play, which is the Jeopardy round. One daily double coming up in one of these categories. The state of the mall. You identify the state for us, please. You're going to need car insurance one of these days. Body language. I am your leader. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> Lila, you get to go first. I'll take I am your leader for 200, please, Alex. I'm president of the United States, and I'm also called the leader of this, meaning all nations living in liberty. You ready? Uh, what is leader of the free world? You're right. I'll have I am your leader for 400, please. I'm Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, and I like being called supreme leader of this country. Lila. What is Iran? Correct. I'll take I'm your leader for 600, please. I'm Mr. Belding, and I have this job title running Bayside High. Lila? What is principal? Correct. I'll take I'm your leader for 800. As Germany's head of government, I hold this title, not president. Irene? What is chancellor? Yep. I'm your leader for 1,000, please. My 2012 re-election means I can stay in power in Caracas until 2019. That would be 20 years on the job. Kelton. Who is Chavez? Hugo Chavez is right. Uh, you're going to need car insurance for 200, please. Like a good neighbor, this company is there. Kelton. What is State Farm? Yes. 400, please. Same category. The idea for its green mascot came from how people mispronounced the name of this insurance company. Irene? What is Geico? Yes. Uh, same category for 600, please, Alex. We are this company that began in 1928. Bum, ba dum, bum, 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 bum. Irene? What is Farmers? Yes. Uh, same category for 800, please. This Ohio-based company began going with the flow in 2008. Lila? What is Progressive? Correct. I'll take car insurance for 1,000. Dean Winters is pure mayhem in ads for this company. Lila? What is Nationwide? No. Kelton or Irene? What is Allstate? Back to you, though, for the next selection. I'll take State of the Mall for 200. Patrick Henry Mall and the Fashion Center at Pentagon City. Kelton. What is Virginia? That's the state. 400, same category, please. Opry Mills and Oak Ridge City Center. Irene. What is Tennessee? Yes. Same category for six, please. The Galleria at White Plains and Finger Lakes Mall. Irene. What is Minnesota? No. Lila. What is New York? That's the state. State of the Mall for 800. Answer. <laughs> Daily Double. And you're in a tie with Kelton, trailing Irene by just $400. Um, I'd like to make it a true, true daily double, please. All right, for 2800 and the lead, here is the clue. Westfield, Vancouver, and Pacific Place Mall. What is Washington? Washington State, yes. Well done. Go again. State of the Mall for 1000 Neonopolis and the Forum Shops. Lila? What is... New York City? No. Dang. Kelton, are you ready? The state is Nevada. Nevada. All right, we're going to take a break. Irene and Lila tied at 1800 at the moment. That'll change soon. Stay with us. Irene Vasquez is uh, an eighth grader at St. John's School. She's from Houston, Texas. I'm often asked by people in our studio audience, how do I react to the Saturday Night Live takeoffs of Jeopardy? But you're a big Saturday Night Live fan, right? I really am. What I want to do when I get older is to write or act on Saturday Night Live. What did you think of the uh, skits performed making fun of me on Jeopardy? Oh, I thought, um, well, now that I get to meet you, I see that they're not all correct. <laughs> Good girl. I hope you do well. Kelton Ellis is a junior from Aiken, George, also captain of his school's quiz bowl team, and they renamed the team especially for you recently, right? 
Yes, a friend of mine decided to rename the team the Train Culture for Jeopardy Club after learning that I had gotten on the show. Okay, has it worked out? Have they all given you a lot of encouragement and tested you even more than usual? Oh, yes. Believe me, they really have. Yeah? <laughs> okay, well, good luck to you. Lila Anderson is a junior from Minnetonka, Minnesota. Has varsity letters in... Soccer and academics. Those two are far apart. What <laughs> position do you play in soccer? Um, I don't play for my school anymore, but I play midfield for my club team. Midfield, that's a tough position. Yeah, a lot of running. A lot of running. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. You have come into the board, and you are tied with Irene at the moment at 1,800. Make a selection, Lila. I'll have body language for 200. To put my this down means I'm ending the discussion once and for all. Lila? What is the foot? Yes. I'll take body language for 400. Having thin this means criticism bothers you. Irene. What is skin? Correct. I'll have body language for six, please. Having this in the pie means you're meddling in something. Lila? What is your nose? No. Kelton or Irene? Having your finger in the pie means you're meddling. Irene, back to you. Uh, body language for eight, please. You may be chilled to this. I'm bad to it. Irene? What is the bone? Yes. Body language for a thousand, please. Cowardly? You're Lily this. Kelton? What is feet? No. Lila? What is livered? Livered, yes. I'll have on Facebook and Twitter for 200. In 2012, she surpassed Eminem, her Love the Way You Lie duet partner, as the celeb with the most likes on Facebook. Who is Rihanna? Rihanna, yes. Uh, on Facebook and Twitter for four, please. On Facebook, Cristiano Ronaldo, a star in this sport, likes Real Madrid, his team, and Pepe, his teammate. Kelton? What is soccer? Yep. Yeah. Uh, 600 for on Facebook and Twitter. She tweeted, can't sleep again tonight. Maybe it's because my baby, Kanye West, isn't here to cuddle. Lila? Who is Kim Kardashian? Correct. On Facebook and Twitter for 800. George Takei, who played Sulu on this 60s TV show, often posts about marriage equality and his book, Oh My. Kelton. What is Star Trek? Yes. On Facebook and Twitter for 1,000, please. 2012, she posted on Facebook in English and in Spanish that she was becoming a mom and a coach on The Voice. Kelton. Who's Christina Aguilera? Nope. Lila. Who is Maria, Mariah Carey? No. Nope. Correct response, who is Shakira? Back to you, Kelton. Uh, follow me for 800, please. The term to follow suit originates in this pastime. Irene? What is card playing? Correct. Uh, follow me for two, please. Peter declares, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee in this first gospel. Irene. What is Matthew? Matthew is right. Follow me for four. In Sesame Street Presents, Follow That Bird, this character runs away from his new home. Irene. Who is Big Bird? Big Bird, correct. Follow me for six, please. The batter scene here is in this part of his swing. Irene. What is follow through? Yes. Follow me for a thousand, please. General Patton and others are quoted as originating the phrase, lead, follow, or do this. Kelton? What is die? No. Lila or Irene? Lead, follow, or get out of the way. <laughs> All right, Kelton gets to go first in double jeopardy. We'll start that round right after this. Time now for the Double Jeopardy round, and Kelton, you get to select first from these categories. The author's characters, MTV Movie Awards, DC, those two letters coming up in that order in each correct response. The annual events, electricity, and finally, Pompeii. Start us, please. Pompeii for 400, please. Pompeii was a city of about 20,000 when this volcano erupted August 24th, 79 A.D., burying the city under 20 feet of ash. Kelton. What is Vesuvius? You are right. Pompeii for 800, please. The caption, Cave Canem, this phrase, is at the entrance to a middle-class house at Pompeii. Lila. What is Beware the Dog? Right. I'll take Pompeii for 1,200. A temple at Pompeii was dedicated to Minerva, Juno, and this chief god whose butt still looks sadly over the city's ruins. Kelton. Who's Jupiter? Right. Pompeii for 16, please. Answer. 
Daily double, and just like that, you can get right back into this. You have 1,200, but you can risk up to 2,000. I'll bet 1,500. Okay, here is the clue for you. Take a look. Though Egyptian, Isis was popular in Pompeii. Her temple had holy water imported from this river more than 1,000 miles away. What is the Nile? The Nile. You got it, and you're now at 3,200. Oh, 2,700. My mistake. Come to 2,000, please. The cast of The Crying Boy was made by filling the hole left in the ash with this substance used by sculptors. Kelton? What is marble? No. Irene? What is plaster? Pla be more specific. What is plaster of Paris? Yes, that's it. Um, MTV Movie Awards for 400, please. Movie 2002, first of a fantastic trilogy. Lila? What is The Fellowship of the Rings? No, sorry. Kelton or Irvani? Lila, although it is the Lord of the Rings, it is the Fellowship of the Ring, singular. Irvani, you pick again as we continue. Um, MTV Movie Award for eight, please. Male Performance, 2008, him in I Am Legend. Kelton. Who is Will Smith? Right. The author's character is 800, please. A few Cullens, Carlisle, Esme, and Emmett. Lila? Who is Stephanie Meyer? Yes. The author's character is for 1600. Long Tom Coffin, Natty Bumpo. The author is James Fenimore Cooper. Back to you, Lila. The author's character is for 1200. The Cheshire Cat, the non existent snark, Tweedledee. Lila? Who is Lewis Carroll? Yes. The author's character is for 400. Bartholomew Cubbins, The Lorax. Irene. Who is Dr. Seuss? Yes. The author's characters for 2,000, please. Queequeg, Captain Veer, Lila. Who is Herman Melville? Yes, you got him. MT MTV Movie Awards for 1,200. Villain, 2005, Ben Stiller in this playground sports film. Lila. What is kicking and screaming? No. Correct response, what is dodgeball? Back to you, though. Lila. MTV Movie Awards for 1600. Female Performance 2008. Ellen Page in this film. Lila? Was Juno? Juno, correct. MTV Movie Awards for 2000. Breakthrough Performance 2012. Her as a teen in The Descendants. And that was Shailene Woodley. Back to you, Lila. Um, I'll take DC for 400. It's a temporary construction at the beach made with a shovel and a pail. Lila. What is a sandcastle? Sandcastle, yes. Okay, DC for 800. It's where to keep a cockatiel. Irene. What is a cage? No. no. Kelton. What is a bird cage? Bird cage, yes. DC coming up in that order. Kelton, back to DC you. DC for 12, please. A joker in poker or a non division winning playoff team in the NFL? Lila. What is a bluffer? No. Irene. What is a wild card? Wild card. Yes, DC coming up in that order. DC for 1600, please. Colorful term for British soldiers in colonial America. Irene. What is redcoats? Right. DC for 2000, please. This sanguine adjective is often used before scream. Kelton. What is blood curdling? Right. Annual events for 400, please. Once a year, pedestrians get to hoof it across the Mackinac Bridge that connects states to peninsulas. Kelton. What is Michigan? That's the state. Annual events for eight. On this holiday, May 5th, it's time for a Mexican fiesta. Lila. What is Cinco de Mayo? Yes. I'll take electricity for 1600. Power stations put out big zaps, so these step-down devices reduce the current for use in homes and businesses. Kelton. What are transformers? Right. Electricity for 12. Answer. <laughs> The Daily Double. You're in third place, but you are certainly within reach of the lead. I'll bet 3,000. 3,000. Okay. Here is the clue. Canada's power is 60% from this source, like the water going over Churchill Falls. What is hydroelectric? That's it. And you're in second place with 9,300. Electricity for four, please. Here's Sarah. The balloon gets negatively charged because these elementary particles rub off my hair and collect on the balloon, attracting the positive part of the toothpick so it falls. Irene? What is static? No. 
Lila. What are the electrons? That's it. Annual events for 1600. In September of 2012, Las Vegas showed some love hosting the second annual All-Star Music Festival called this. Lila. What is the iHeart Music no. Radio? Irene. What is iHeart Radio? iHeart Radio, yes. Annual events for 1200, please. On November 19th, Dedication Day at a National Cemetery commemorates the anniversary of this speech. Lila. What is the Iron Curtain speech? No. Irene. What is Gettysburg? Yes, the Gettysburg speech or Gettysburg Address. Go again. Uh, electricity for eight, please. Ben Franklin used a kite and a key to prove that this was electricity. Kelton. What is lightning? Right. Electricity for two, please. Named for an Italian, it's the standard unit of electromotive force. Kelton? What is a vault? Vault, yes, for Alexander Annual events for 2000. Yeehaw! In 2012, Canadians celebrated the 100th anniversary of this Alberta city stampede. Viola. What is... Whitehorse? No. Kelton or Irene? What is Calgary, the famous Calgary stampede, White Horse in the Yukon? Fine Jeopardy coming up, very close between Irene and Kelton. Remember, the Wickham finalist and returns next week, and there are four wild card spots for high scorers among non-winners. Here's the final Jeopardy category for today. Historic quotes. Think about that, players. Make your wages, and we'll return to reveal the clue in a moment. Hey, you want to see something scary? Take the teen online test. Not the test. That's cool. But Alex? The teen online test is coming soon. That is going to haunt me. Your parents have to register for you at Jeopardy.com. Sign up now. Now don't forget. Take it. Yeah, you're not going to forget it. Historic quotes is the category for Final Jeopardy, and this is the clue. In April of 1865, he said, Go home, all you boys who fought with me, and help to build up the shattered fortunes of our old state. 30 seconds, players. Good luck. Lila, you started out very well and then faltered a little bit in Double Jeopardy, but that's okay. Let's see if you came up with the correct response to our final clue. Who is Robert E. Lee? Good for you, you're right. And you risked 2,400, so you double your score to 4,800. Let's go down to the end now to Irene. She had 12,000 and the right response, so she will add how much? 3,000. That gives her 15,000 as a total. Kelton, over to you now. Robert E. Lee is the person we are looking for. And we find who is Lee, and we'll accept that. And you risked how much? 12,100. <laughs> Gutsy move, it paid off handsomely, 24,200. You will be a semifinalist. And Irene's 15,000 may well hold up also for one of those wild card spots. The second of our quarterfinal matches right here tomorrow. Please join us then.
16 teenage contestants and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to appear on Jeopardy. That's right. That's what it comes down to during the game show's teen tournament. And this week, 17-year-old Lila Anderson of Providence Academy got her chance at the $75,000 grand prize. This is the Jeopardy team. Tournament. It is the making of a dream. A junior from Minnetonka, Minnesota, Lila Anderson. A dream come true for 17-year-old Lila Anderson. It was probably the scariest experience ever. At a Plymouth viewing party this week. Lila, you get to go first. I'll take I am your leader for 200, please, Alex. <laughs> Friends, family, and teachers surround the Providence Academy junior. What is he, Ron? Correct. All gathered to cheer her on in an episode taped last November. Lila Anderson is a junior from Minnetonka, Minnesota. I really wasn't prepared for how intense it was going to be. Mom, Mary, and Lila know the outcome, but they relive the moment. Lila. What is progressive? Correct. The strong showing right out of the gate. And then the double jeopardy round. Lila. What is White Horse? No. That cost her dearly. When I was there, I could have pictured any of the 15 kids winning, even myself or any, like anyone could have won. I would have had no guess of who would win. Nerves do factor in. And even a correct answer in Final Jeopardy. Who is Robert E. Lee? Good for you, you're right. Wasn't enough for a win, but it was enough. I hope that she's learned that it's good to put yourself out there. To make moms super proud. She had an intense desire to do well, and I have to say that she was really disappointed that she didn't make it past the first round. But I think more than anything, she just showed a lot of integrity. The dream ended prematurely for Lila, but the experience was no less a reward. My favorite part was hearing Alex Trebek say my name. Lila? Which is weird, but I love Alex Trebek, so.